Good evening and welcome members of the school committee, members of the faculty, family, invited guests, and new members of the National Junior Honor Society. I am honored to be sitting here with all of you tonight to recognize the accomplishments of the students you see on the screens in front of you. Although this may not be the ceremony we all had in mind for the second year in a row, it does not take away from the honor and importance of the event itself. Each one of these students has worked diligently and is a fine example of academic success, and we are all very proud of them. At this time, I would ask you to make sure that your mic is muted, as you can unmute as the speakers and students when, as your time comes, speakers and students, and be sure that you can be seen clearly on the screen. Also, in case of an emergency, please be sure you know where all the exits are in your home. Thank you. Please allow me to now introduce seventh grader Alexis Nolan. Good evening. Welcome to the National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony. We hope you enjoy your program this evening. Please place your hand on your heart and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to introduce the president of National Junior Honor Society, Gwen Gustafson. Welcome to the 2020 to 2021 National Junior Honor Society virtual induction ceremony. The purpose of the ceremony is to recognize and welcome the students who have shown excellence in and out of our school. Each and every one of these students will be gaining membership tonight due to their display of academic rigor, civic participation, and personal attributes. It is a great honor to have been elected to be the president of this group of inductees. I look forward to working together to accomplish goals and help our community and school. Tonight, we'll induct 27 new members into the Oxford Middle School chapter of the National Junior Honor Society. These students are in many teams and part of many clubs and societies throughout our community. These new inductees are truly role models to their peers. They are each a display of the society's five pillars. These five pillars are scholarship, leadership, service, citizenship, and character. Several of our current members will elaborate upon these qualities. Scholarship will be read by Delaney Burke. According to the dictionary, scholarship is an academic study or achievement. However, as a member of the National Junior Honor Society, the basic meaning of scholarship holds a hidden deeper meaning. Tonight, these dedicated students have proven to themselves, their peers, and you that they know what it means to be committed to reaching their full academic potential. Diligently, they have worked to show that they are putting their utmost effort into their schoolwork and still many participate in so much more. The new inductees truly understand that one's character does not rely only on their scholarship, but relies on the effort that they give inside and outside of the classroom. To be scholarly, one does not stop their effort inside the classroom, but instead carries it to the world outside the school's front door. As all students continue to learn and grow, we must never limit the worth of scholarship. Leadership will be read by Ethan White. A true leader is marked by self-confidence and poise. It means that one is resourceful, exemplifies a positive attitude, is thoroughly dependable, and exercises positive influence on peers. These members are, not, are leaders not only in this school, but everywhere. They can be found helping people out or showing someone the right way to do something. Our members are great role models for others, accepting and embracing the previous mentioned qualities of leadership and demonstrating them. Leadership at Oxford Middle School is not limited to the National Junior Honor Society. You can be a leader in so many ways, such as a leader of a group, a leader of a team, leader of a challenge, but most important, you can be a leader just by showing a good example to your peers or younger kids. Having these kinds of attributes leads someone to follow the good or right path by example. Leadership is an essential key to our National Junior Honor Society and can be found in every one of us. Being a leader is in all of us, we just don't always know it. Service will be read by Veronica Griffin, NJHS Secretary. Service. 
one who volunteers and provides dependable and organized assistance to the community selflessly is gladly available, willing to take on challenging responsibilities, completes schoolwork without complaint, fulfills any job needed, shows courtesy by assisting visitors, teachers, and students, and participates in multiple activities outside of the school is one who demonstrates service. Members of the National Junior Honor Society are dedicated to serve. They volunteer their time and effort to make a difference in not only school, but in the local community as well. Many members have donated their time by serving the elderly or disadvantaged, volunteer with religious groups, doing community service with Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, and helping nonprofit organizations. Members of the National Junior Honor Society stand out for their devotion and willingness to serve for the benefit of others. Now reading Citizenship, Vice President Cassidy Burke. Citizenship, by definition, is the quality of an individual's response to membership in a community. National Junior Honor Society members embrace citizenship not only as individuals, but also together as a whole. To be a good citizen, we must act unselfishly and encourage the same in others. Members of the National Junior Honor Society have demonstrated such citizenship and are encouraged to maintain the quality of commitment associated with being a National Junior Honor Society member. Character will be read by Treasurer Noah Proctor. A person's character is like a fingerprint and that everyone's is unique. Character can best be defined as attributes or features that make up and distinguish the individual. What kind of character traits look for in a National Junior Honor Society candidate? One who demonstrates the highest standards of honesty and reliability, who regularly shows courtesy and respect for others, and who exemplifies desirable qualities of behavior such as friendliness, poise, determination, and dedication. Students may have the grades to make the National Junior Honor Society, but the strong character and motivation behind these grades is what will carry them forward. Dreams and goals don't come to fruition based on grades alone. Their talents and interests in addition to determination and dedication drive them as well as take them places. Our speakers will be introduced by Logan Barrier. We are very proud to introduce Dr. Christine Nash, our Acting Superintendent of Schools. Welcome, Dr. Nash. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I am extremely honored this evening to be able to speak to you at the Oxford National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony. You know, as all of you know, in March of 2020, public education was turned on its head when this country and the world was hit by a pandemic. COVID-19 changed education, and it certainly changed your lives as middle school students. So after 15 months of both remote and hybrid learning, I'd like to ask all of you a question. What did you learn about yourself? during the pandemic. Now, if you're wondering why I would ask this question, I do so because I am pretty sure that all of you have realized some positives out of this experience. While learning during the pandemic may not have been easy for some, including all of you this evening, you rose to the challenge and the pandemic has shown you that you possess some extraordinary and most essential skills for success. As an example, you became much better than your classmates at self-regulation or self-control. When you were not in the classroom, you were remote, you still managed your time well, and you got your assignments done on time. Also, I bet that many of you are much better than others at being self-reliant. You did not always need an adult, whether it was your teacher or a parent around you to ensure that you were learning. In addition, I'm pretty positive that you were self-motivated, no matter where your learning took place. Whether you were full remote or attending school in a hybrid mode, you remained self-assured and comfortable. You knew that you would be able to move between any learning model, remote or hybrid, without missing a beat. How do I know this? I know this because in the worst of times in education, it still has remained the best of times for you, our National Junior Honor Society inductees. All of you have still managed to emerge as the best and the brightest, the most accomplished, 
among your fellow classmates, no matter the obstacles that were thrown your way this past year, and there were many. Your self-control, your self-reliance, your self-motivation, and your self-assuredness has served you well, and I might add will continue to serve you well in the future. So you are here this evening being inducted into the National Junior Honor Society because you managed your schooling during the pandemic better than most, actually a lot better than most. In this very, very atypical school year, you rose to the top because of you. You did not let the pandemic define you. You responded to the adversity in front of you with self-assuredness. You remained self-motivated no matter the roadblocks. To be sure, you had to dig down deeper this school year to be here this evening and to be recognized for your academic talents. This is an accomplishment which should make you, your families, even prouder than they would normally be. However, I would add this, as you move forward beyond the pandemic, remember you responded to this adversity. That's important. And it's more important than all of your academic talents. You were able to respond. You were able to rise above all of that. So I hope uh, you will view this very unprecedented times as a learning opportunity, an opportunity to help you think about the positive lessons that you learned about yourself. The question that I asked at the very beginning, what did you learn about yourself as a result of this pandemic? So I conclude by saying congratulations on your success in being selected as a member of Oxford's middle school National Junior Honor Society. And I know that the very best is yet to come for all of you. We are proud to introduce Ashley McGowan as our guest speaker. Ashley is a former member of our NGHS at Oxford Middle School. She is currently president of the Student Council and president of the National Honor Society. Ashley will attend Point Park University and double major in dance and secondary education. Welcome, Ashley McGowan. Thank you for having me today. Congrats to all the new and current members of the National Junior Honor Society. Being a member of the NJHS is more rewarding than you may have realized yet. This organization allows you to make a lasting impact on the community through service while also developing the leadership skills you will use in high school and throughout life. One of the most special parts is the relationships you will create with your peers. There are so many wonderful people that become members of the NJHS and then the NHS that come from various backgrounds and have different interests. You may get to know some of your peers that you would never have interacted with otherwise. In your cohesive service, you will form bonds with these peers over the mutual feeling of doing something to make a difference in the world, even at the local level. My personal favorite part of being a member of the NJHS and NHS was having the opportunity to help others in ways that I wouldn't have thought of on my own. We ran annual collections of socks and gloves for Socktober and November, which gets the school excited to contribute donations and support great causes. Once we even had a pirate day of service that allowed members to come to a relaxed environment and complete mini service projects, like making dog toys or friendship bracelets to donate. The possibilities for how you can help others are limitless, and these groups are always grateful for our contributions. All of you here today should be so proud of your accomplishments. To be this invested in your academic excellence and service to, to the community is remarkable at such a young age. This drive is exactly what the world needs to see from its future leaders. I sincerely hope that all of you continue to hold yourselves to the standard and serve as a role model for your peers. They may look to you for guidance or help at times. If you keep working hard and dedicating yourselves to always improving, then the high school will be lucky to welcome you when the time comes. The world is yours to explore, change, and improve, and you have the chance to start today. We are proud to introduce Joseph Zella as our guest speaker. Joseph is a former member of our NJHS at Oxford Middle School. He is currently the Best Buddies Treasurer, Student Council Vice President, Senior Class Treasurer, and the National Honor Society Secretary. 
Joseph will attend Bentley University as an accounting major. Welcome, Joseph Zella. Good evening, everyone. Years ago, I was inducted into the National Junior Honor Society at the middle school, just as you all are being inducted right now. Since my induction, I have been a member of the society for seven years, and I've taken advantage of the countless opportunities that NHS has provided me, growing both as a person and as a leader in my school and community. As members of the National Junior Honor Society, both at Oxford Middle School and the National Honor Society at Oxford High School, you will all be presented with many of these same opportunities. However, with your membership in NHS, you are expected to become the leaders of your school. Upon your induction, you instantly become role models for your peers, both inside and outside of the classroom. Additionally, in Oxford, our National Honor Society is based around a few main qualities, citizenship, scholarship, leadership, character, and service. You will be granted pathways to grow and develop in all of these important areas. And this new club or community, you will be paired with like-minded individuals and you will be able to grow into yourself both as a leader and learner. If taken advantage of, these opportunities will enable you to succeed at Oxford High School and beyond. This year, I was about one of 600 seniors across the country to win a National Honor Society scholarship awarded to individuals that consistently embody the pillars of NHS. Only seven other high school seniors from Massachusetts won this prestigious award, which will assist me in paying my tuition at Bentley University next year, where I plan on majoring in accounting. Overall, your membership in the National Honor Society at Oxford High School will prepare you for success in all of your future endeavors. At the high school, you will learn skills and develop abilities that will prepare you for both college and adulthood. This year, in addition to my role in the National Honor Society, I was the treasurer of my class as well as a captain of our varsity football team. Although there are countless benefits to attending Oxford High School, the amazing teachers are perhaps the most important advantage. At the high school, the teachers truly want you to succeed and will do their best to ensure that you achieve all of your dreams. Here, there are no limitations to your academic goals as your role in the National Honor Society, along with the guidance of your caring teachers, will enable you to succeed at anything you desire. Ultimately, as a member of the National Honor Society, you will be given chances to both learn and grow as a leader. There is no better place to succeed than at Oxford High School. As an outgoing senior, I can confidently say that my time at both the middle school and the high school has exceptionally prepared and equipped me with the skills essential for success. If you all take advantage of the many opportunities that both National Junior Honor Society and National Honor Society have to offer you at Oxford High School, I believe that you all can achieve just about anything. Thank you, Joey and Ashley and, Ms. and Dr. Nash. We would all inductees please unmute and raise your right hand. And Dr. Nees, please join me in reciting the National Junior Honor Society Pledge. I pledge myself to uphold. I pledge myself to uphold. The high purposes of. The high purposes of. The National Junior Honor Society. The National, the National Junior Honor Society. The National Junior Honor Society. To which I have been selected. To which, to which I, I have been, have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will, I will, I will be, be true, true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school. I will, I will, I will be loyal, loyal, loyal to, to my school. school. And I will maintain and encourage high standards. And I will, and I will maintain and encourage high standards. High standards. Of scholarship, of, of scholarship, of service, service, of service, service, leadership, 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 and character, 
Thank you. And everyone, please mute their mics now. I would like to welcome the National Dream of Honor Society advisor, Ms. Rimsky. Yeah! I don't think I'm muted. <laughs> I don't think I'm muted. That's okay. <laughs> Okay, does that sound better? <laughs> At this time, I would like to read the names of the inductees as new members of the National Junior Honor Society. Seventh graders, Sadie Bond. Chloe Gabis. Jeffrey Guzman. Colton Hemingway. Abigail Hoyt. Kyra Krasinskis. Emily McDonald. Ava Vincent. New sixth graders joining this year and for next year. Ariana Burns. Catherine Cloutier. Marie Constantino. Abigail Davis. Cameron Davis. Lillian D'Amico. Emily Dupuy. Finian Keith. Damon Libby. Jared Magnuson. Kate Mayo. Leah McDowell. Colin McIlvain. Jaden Minardi. Ava Rennie. Shane Ryder. Zachary Serard. Kyle Twombly. Lillian Valencourt.
please join me in giving these students another round of applause, even if it's in our virtual ceremony. Congratulations. Right. We're unmuted. You guys. We're unmuted. This has been like a, a year of no other, so you guys did great. We look forward to being um, in person for sure for all of our events for next school year. As NJHS advisor, I am honored to work with these dedicated students at Oxford Middle School in person and virtually. This past year has shown us how our organization can adapt during a pandemic. We were able to have our toy drive, our spirit week, and made cards for the elderly in our community. These students continue to strive and set high performance standards for themselves. Their interest and dedication to their community is an inspiration to all of us. Their determination and hard work will bring them great success in high school and beyond. On behalf of the Oxford Middle School staff and administration, we want to express our appreciation to all of you who are taking the time to view this ceremony at home. As we know, this is a time to celebrate the wonderful group of young people we have before us. We are very proud of our newly inducted members. Please join me one time for giving them a virtual round of applause. <laughs> Great job, everybody. This concludes our virtual induction ceremony. Thank you again for being here. Thank you, Dr. Nash and Ashley and Joey for being here as well and all of our guests. We have recorded this event and we'll share our video with our members on our NJHS website in Google Classroom and through email. So the students will receive the links in order to share with their family and friends. Students will receive their cord certificates and pins, including remote students, next week. Thank you so much. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. This has concluded the ceremony, so this is when we would be walking out of the auditorium. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Great job, students and teachers. Thank you. Thank you.